Well, ladies and gentlemen, the action continues to roll on here at BMF4. This is a amateur bantamweight contest. Brad Cook fighting out of the red corner, the black shorts, and representing MDMA as he takes on Maroon Jarrett, the Aura MMA man, and the black RDX shorts trimmed with blue. Touch gloves. <laughs> Opens with a leg kick straight away yeah. to Jarrett. Right, nice and low. I think he was targeting that calf. Again, we see a little bit of little bit of height and length and reach yeah. favoring oh. the man in the blue corner. Lovely little counter there, waited for his man to throw, let it miss, and then responded. They both exchange leg and you can see Cook constant movement, skirting on the outside, yeah. needing to have to try oh. and close the distance, but good left and hook. does. Bounced him off the cage, picked him up. Beautiful scramble, though, wow. from oh, Myron Jarrett, but Brad Cook rolls with it. God, is this MMA or Cirque du Soleil? Unbelievable. Now, Jarrett working off his back, but yeah. very act trying to bring that guard up oh, high, looking for an arm. Yeah, but an arm or a triangle. He's got very long legs. So active off his back. Oh, it landed a really nice up kick there. Up, but Brad Cook says, no, no, no. I'm, I've worked to get you down. I'm going to keep you here. Yeah, lovely work by Cook. Putting all that weight through his man's opposite shoulder, keeping him pinned to the floor. Jared, though, looking to try to maintain a little bit of distance. Not not going to let Cook get too heavy and sticky to him, but there we start to see that chest-to-chest -chest pressure. And a lovely little scramble again, explosive from Jared. Yeah, lovely use of the butterfly hooks there to elevate Ooh. his man. Oh, made him think twice with that cheap up the middle, just inches away from the whiskers. Oh, I think that one might have hit. Oh, John, almost a schoolyard headlock takedown, but now it's Burn Jared on top, side control. Really nice stuff. I mean, these guys have just gone at each other. They, they, they've decided, you know, forget the technique. Let's just, I, I, I'm going to go at you. You go at me. Let's see who's, who's, the, who's more man. Brad Cook with an explosion there to get himself back up to his feet, but was met with a meat knee to the midsection. And now, oh, oh, gee, another, front another kick. those front kicks are finding a home, but. Oh, and a lovely ground and pound shot as he was coming down by Brad Cook. Are we starting to see a tale of where he, these two fighters are both going to do best? Cook, very, very comfortable in the clinch, in yeah. close, grinding it out. Jared, though, on his feet, looks a real problem to be solved. Yeah. 10 seconds left again, just that strength to try and buck and get those that back off the canvas. Yeah, again, he'll, he'll, he'll do better here to look for... Oh, lovely round there. He will do better there from the bottom rather than just bucking really hard, looking for underhooks and then moving because it just means that you've got access then to the legs. If you want to chase up a single leg or a double, it gives you more options and just raw strength to throw your man off the top of you. Okay, and you're in the Aura MMA corner over there with Maroon Jared. Again, this guy's making his debut 0-0. Oh no. What are you telling him about that round? Man, it's hard to say because there are a lot of things that you're quite happy with. It's like you didn't accept position, you fought everywhere you went, you probably spent more time on the bottom than, we, than we'd like. So either go out and take your man down or keep using this stand-up that you're doing so well. Those front kicks up the middle are lovely. It'd be pretty awesome to see an Anderson Silva-style oh. front kick. Or, or dare I say a Robbie Kennedy Robbie style. Robbie Kennedy. Although the, the thing is though, Brad Cook, he, those takedowns have been, have been sudden. They've been, it is a case that Jared is going to have to be careful about the, yeah. about overextending his shots or 
Yeah, exactly. Well, since most of those takedowns have come off kick catches. That's it. Oh, touch of gloves there. They, they weren't quite sure. Yeah, are you, yeah, but they did, which is nice to see. And again, we start with Jared having that. Oh, oh! big shots. Stunned him a little, I think. Covering up. He's chased that takedown from last week and managed to get it. Oh, but he might be in a triangle. Oh, yeah, you can see. Oh, he's got that locked. He's got that locked. And there's the tap. Wow. What a finish. What a great result from the Aura MMA man. Welcome to the show, Maroon Jared. Wow. I mean, talk about killer instinct. Lands that right hand, knows his man is hurt, and even when he's put in a bad position, uses that opportunity to make something happen. Really, really impressive. Yeah, the Aura team gonna be happy with that. A very, very composed, clinical performance, and an absolutely brutal finish. Wow. Take a bow, Marin Jared. Let's turn this over to Mr. Seth Khan to give this man the first win of his career. Ladies and gentlemen, up to 30 seconds in the second round, your referee, Mr. Trevor Mitchell, calls us up to the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, the fight, Triangle! 